54-year-old Jesus Gutierrez Guzman has been sentenced to 16 years in federal prison for conspiracy to distribute more than 1,000 kilograms of cocaine. My client and I both respect it and we understand it. Guzman is the cousin of El Chapo, who led the violent Sinaloa drug cartel in Mexico. He's now on the run after escaping from a Mexican prison for a second time. Meantime, Guzman was arrested in Spain following an undercover FBI operation that began in 2009. Undercover agents met with Guzman in several places, including Newcastle, New Hampshire. That meeting was held to finalize the terms of the drug delivery. It's the reason that Guzman was tried here in the state. Guzman pleaded guilty in 2014. We were able to achieve a, uh, uh, an agreement with the government whereby it would be a 10 year low and a 20 year high, and uh, uh, he ended up with 16. Before the sentencing, the prosecution and the defense argued about Guzman's role within the cartel. Prosecutors believe Guzman was a trusted confidant of El Chapo's and a decision maker within the group. The United States advocated that Mr. Gutierrez Guzman was an organizer or a leader of this conspiracy, and it based that claim on the number of meetings that he brought people to, the number of meetings he attended, his sort of role in the whole um, conspiracy. The defense says there's no evidence that Guzman had any control or authority to make decisions within the cartel and was purely a mouthpiece for El Chapo. In the end, the judge sided with the defense. He said he was a trusted, confident, a loyal follower of Chapo, and he was Chapo's mouthpiece. Um, you know, the United States respectfully disagrees and thinks he was much more than that, but the court wasn't persuaded. Guzman will likely serve his sentence in Arizona or California, where he has family. He'll be deported back to Mexico once he's released. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.